Welcome to video number two for the kaleidoscope name. Now, where we stopped last time was making the template and you were to make your name that touched the top and the bottom of your triangle from that piece of paper that you made into a square that looked like this. That was paper number one. You cut it out and then you traced it with Sharpie or something to make it look very dark. And I actually did it to both sides so that the name is equally able to be able to see the outline of it on both sides of the piece of paper. Now, this is paper number two. I took this out of a sketchbook because it's a little bit thicker it's a nicer drawing quality style paper so that my project is on a little bit nicer paper. So whenever I took this out, it was a rectangle and I had to do the same steps to create a square shaped paper. What we're going to have to do is to be able to see this template through this paper. Now, if you can't see directly through it, then you might need to go to a window and use it like a light table. I happen to have a light table, so it's very bright and you can see the name straight through the paper. It's very handy in that way. Now, you're going to line it up underneath the triangle that is bent into the paper and you're going to use it like your template and you just have to trace all the way around the entire name. I'm starting right in the center, but you don't have to. And we're going to make very simply, we're going to repeat this design. So what you're trying to do is recreate the name that you already designed. Now, since I had this very dark Sharpie, I was very quickly able to see through the paper and trace my design into the triangular shape. Now, this is where it gets tricky. The next step is to not do the same thing. We're going to take it and we're going to rotate it over like this so that it will be a mirror image. Notice how the V and the C and the M all match up so that it is backwards, right? This is upside down. So then I'm going to place it underneath. I need to turn my light table back on so I can see it. So now when I draw my next image, it is actually a mirror image and not the same direction. So I'll start this the same way and I'll extend my M and begin tracing all the way around the entire thing. Now I have finished tracing all the way around the mirror image. And if I turn off my light table, you can see it is exactly the backwards of my name. So I bet you can guess what we're going to do on the next one. We're going to flip it one more time. Flip it over. And that is the design that's going to go right here. If you don't flip your design every time and do the mirror images of it, you're going to receive 20 points off of your final grade. So it is very important to the design that you flip it before you begin the next step. So I'm going to turn my light table back on. Time to trace some more. Here we go. That one complete. Turn off my lamp so you can see it a little better. And of course, very last step. We take this and then we flip it one more time back to the backwards one and you're going to trace it 
a mirror image just like before. So place it underneath and notice how all of my lines are meeting up for each of my letters. They're all meeting up just perfectly. The E's, the V, the Y over here. So let me turn it back on so that I can draw my very last one, which is mirror imaged again. Line it up and draw. There we go. And now completely traced the backwards one again. We have quite interesting design, kaleidoscope design that now we will get to decorate and put some beautiful value and color on. All right, get to work.